a title screen can really make your game look more professional. So as you can see, mine's over here on the right and it comprises of some sprites that I'm drawing, uh, some text for the title of the game, and this flashing press space to start. Just a quick reminder that the sprites uh, will need to be just like your player or your enemy imported in here before they can be drawn. I've got several sprites and I draw them all one on top of each other. Okay, let's have a look at how this all works. Now, the main thing when you start having a title screen or an end screen or the game or paused or whatever that is, is that you have different modes in your game so that you can actually run different code depending on what mode it is. In my game here, I've just made a variable called mode and I've set the mode to title. You can call it whatever you like, just make sure it's in quotation marks here. You call it title screen, etc. it doesn't matter. My other mode is going to be play and uh, when the player leaves the title screen, the mode will be set to play and then we'll start behaving differently in the program. Now, a another thing that you might notice about this is I have not put all the code in my main file because the title screen code has nothing to do with the game, so I've put it in its own file out of the way. I've got two functions, update title screen and draw title screen, and these two functions uh, won't run by themselves, but I call them from the main functions that do run. Remember, these three functions run automatically. So every time, 60 times a second, every time that update runs, uh, if the mode equals title, then it's going to update the title screen. Else if, else if the mode equals play, then whatever your game code is going to be for the main game, it's going to be in there, okay? Same thing with the draw. We're gonna clear the screen every frame. If the mode equals title, remember two equals when we're comparing it, one equal assigns a value to a variable, makes it equal that, two checks whether it's equal. So if the mode equals title, then draw title screen, else, else if mode equals play, then draw the game. Okay, I'm going to hide that. It's not important what that does. Yours will be different. Let's have a look at update title screen, screen and draw title screen and how it works. Okay, so here we go. First of all, let's look at update title screen. So all that does is it just checks every frame or every 60 times a second to see if the space key is being pressed. And if it does, it just sets the mode to play. Pretty simple, right? The main thing is how to draw the title screen. The first thing is I'm going to draw the background. So I've got, I'm drawing the sky sprite and then the, uh, I'm setting the font to uh, enchanted sword. And then I'm uh, drawing the text a wizard's quest 2. Now if you want to know how to do all of these functions remember you can just press the question mark here and it will explain clearly uh, what's happening. Now I made a mistake before I said I was drawing all of these separately. I think I just actually used that one in the end but you could draw them all separately. Then finally I draw the text press space uh, down here. Now how do I get it to flash? Well, I can use this function here, get flash value. And based on the inbuilt uh, system clock, it's going to give you what we call a different alpha uh, depending on the time. And the alpha is how much opacity it has, which is the opposite of transparency. So if something's got an opacity of zero, you can't see it at all. If it has an opacity of one, then it's fully white or whatever color it has on here. So I'm going to screen dot set the alpha to whatever get flash value will give me back. Now just to show you what happens if I was to set this to let's say 0 0.3 the whole time you can see here on the example that it's sort of a little bit opaque but not that opaque and if I was to set it to 0 0.9 it would be a lot stronger but what this get flash value will do will give us a different value every frame that'll make it get, you know, more opaque and less opaque in and out. Get flash value like that. Now this is not something that's built into Micro Studio. Again, it's something that you can get from my helpers file. If you go into explore and 
search for games prog and go into here and just click import source file to whatever your game is and it will import all of this code and you can use the functions that I've made for you. Anyway, I hope that helps and I can't wait to see your title screen.